choice of live action for you tonight on Sky Sports. Right now, Hull against Wigan live. Super League action on Sky Sports 1. And tonight at 10 o'clock on Sky Sports 2, day two of the Bell South Classic. Right here, right now on Sky Sports 2, it's Division 1 action. Reading against Brighton. Now let's have a look at um, Brighton and how they're doing this season. Obviously struggling a little bit down the bottom of the table, but they do have experience. 44-year-old Dave Besant is in the team, and he's the oldest football league professional around at the moment, right? He makes me feel young looking at it, Bez, isn't he? But tremendous. I mean, he's been playing now for 23 years as a professional. He still looks in great condition. I was watching him warm up earlier. Probably doesn't jump around as much you know, in the warm-up as he would do normally, but uh, uh, any young aspiring goalkeepers out there, they should look at someone like him, and that's how to prolong your, your career. You know, he's kept himself in fine fetto, and he still loves his football. Vastly experienced goalkeeper, and that'll be very important tonight with the back four of, of Brighton, that he can keep them nice and calm tonight because it's going to be a pressure cooker situation. 44 years old. Well... The Brighton Pier may have seen better days, but Dave Besant is still going strong. I'm getting luck and I'm getting success and happiness over the next few months, which are very important to the work that you're doing. I'm very happy to see that you and the people around you are going to rise above where you are right now. I'm pleased to see that you and your team are going to do well because the outcome is what we would all wish. Mm -hmm. Okay? All the very best, Dave. Thank you. Good luck. People always ask me you know, how I keep going and I've always said that it sounds an old cliche, and, but I, just my love of football. Um, the day I walked in the dressing room door at the training ground, uh, the atmosphere in there was one that was very, very similar to what I left at Wimbledon. All those years ago, it was a, you know, they've got some characters in there: Charlie Outway, Bobby Zamora. You know, you're as young as the people that are around you, and unfortunately, we've got a fairly young side, and uh, and I haven't grown up yet, so, uh, you know, I'm still on their wavelength. It's encouraging the fact that since I've been here, um, you know, fortunes have turned round for the club. Uh, you know, if if I was uh, to say that it was all down to me, I think I'll be uh, giving myself. A major pat on my back, but um, obviously it just I think is a coincidence. Uh, you know, the experience that I've got it can it can help a team out whether I'm making saves or just getting people in position and organising. It's a pleasure to work under him because I think he's he's thorough in what he does. He's um, he knows what he wants from his players, and he goes about it in a in his cool, calm, and collective manner. He doesn't. You know, rant and rave, and uh, especially in a situation that the players have been in this season. Um, you know, it seems, it seems that he's come in just at the right time to, to be able to give the club a, a fighting chance. It'd be vital that Bobby Zamora is back because, you know, not taking anything away from anyone else who comes in for him, but he just gives you that little bit of, a bit more of a goal threat, and he's got the ability to change a game with. You know, a bit of control, a bit of a trick, and, and score a goal. So, you know, he's a big plus. We'll be going there to to gain the three points, and um, you know, there's there's different pressures in the in the division. Pressures to stay in the division, and pressures to get out of it and uh, get promotion. And I think that sometimes the the fear of failure being relegated is is greater than the fear of a uh, failure to be you know successful. So. Um, but we're both sides are under a certain amount of pressure.